fights him loose, and he doesn't look like he's phased. He's very relaxed, and with the song, How You Like Me Now, he's just trying to please the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready for our sixth fight of the evening. Your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 77.1 inches tall. He weighed in at 177 kilograms. He's 25 years old from Dagestan, Russia. He's got a record of six wins, one loss. Give it up for Elder, the Beast, Elder And please welcome his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 76.5 centimeters tall. He weighed in at 177 kilograms. He's 25 years old, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, by way of Buenos Aires, Argentina. Give it up with a record of six wins, two losses, Kevin. Koldowski! Your referee is Mihail Mihailovic! You know, I'm waiting on one of these fighters to like take a swing at Carlos Kramer. He's getting in their face. It's intense. Eldar just doesn't back down. <laughs> Have you seen Carlos Kramer? He is huge. <laughs> He's a monster. One of the biggest ring announcers that I've ever seen in pure mass. He's a monster, and here we go. It is Koldowski in the black and Eldorov in the white. If Koldowski wants to make this a standing battle, he's gonna have to use his reach, throw his one twos, but keep his jab going. Keep Eldar on the outside. Eldar Two. definitely wants to come in, but he's gonna have to move side to side. If not, change the pace, go high, low, and then shoot a beautiful blast double, which he usually does. Hey, these guys are big welters, big, powerful welterweights that pack a lot of power. There's a good chance we are not going to decision with these two. Kevin taunting Eldar. Oh, and here we go. Eldar, Eldarov. A big hook by for Eldar. The head. A big hook by Eldar, but Kevin was able to catch him with one. Wow, great take down defense, but he's going down. Eldar Eldorov, as you said, so explosive, and he would not be denied. Nothing but power, and I know that from experience, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> so he's and I'm probably a, picked you up once or twice. And I'm a twice. flyweight man, so he, he had his way. That wasn't fun. Thanks for tuning in here on BraveFights.com and following us on social media at BraveMMAF on Instagram, Twitter, and, of course, on our Facebook page. The fans chanting Eldar's name. Quite the fan favorite here in Bahrain. Now Eldar stuck in half guard, but Kodolski is trying to work. He's trying to work off his back. He was trying to put his feet in the fence so he can get a different position, but right now, he's just feeling it out. He's just trying to control Eldar's arms, and if Eldar makes a mistake, you know, he may, may be able to transition either to a submission, or if not, go back in the full guard. Eldar so far, off smothering Koldovsky, but remember Koldovsky does have some good BJJ here as he tries to sneak that right leg up towards the neck of Eldar, but Eldar with that half guard is just really tough to deal with. And Eldar's doing a good job. Again, smothering, keeping the pressure on, turning his opponent's head and keeping it off center. The crowd very, very focused here watching the ground game and you talk about KHK and what they've done to bring jiu-jitsu and to bring MMA to the region. They really appreciate the sport. And Eldar moves into mount. Full mount by Eldar Eldorov. And one thing you got to remember, the only loss on his record is to Khabib Nurmagomedov. That's a guy that's going to be fighting most likely. And for Kevin, the, Kevin's going for a heel hook. For the championship of the world. Oh. Kevin Koldovsky here trying to isolate the arm, so only losing to Khabib is a pretty big deal. Khabib, one of the best lightweights in the world. Again, I've had the experience, to, I don't know if it's a good thing with or a bad men, thing, right? with to go with both Eldar of them, and man, Khabib. I don't know who's tougher. They're just ridiculously good at their Sambo style. Kevin Koldovsky having a hard time dealing with the top game 
of Eldar Eldorov. This is kind of what we expected coming into this fight, that it would go to the ground. Who's going to have the advantage? And right now, it's that wide, wide frame of Eldorov. Transitioning to an armbar. And he's doing a, trying to walk. And Eldar's doing a really good job of keeping the pressure on Kevin's face. Turns his head, puts him off center, and makes it harder for him to go and transition to, for example, and an armbar. And now arm Dobsky, trying to isolate that arm. Eldar is doing a good job. He kept his head down, wasn't able to let that leg to go over. And Kevin, let go. Really sneaky movement there for Kevin Koldobsky. Unable to get out from underneath Eldar, but it, it appears that he's trying to work that submission game from the bottom, now getting the elbows in. But time's ticking away, and Eldar Eldorov. Transition for the armbar again. Eldar's keeping his head down, which is good for him. Doesn't lock in the armbar, but Kevin, Dol Kevin Kodolbski's looking at, he's showing his flexibility and might get it under. Talking about the flexibility of Kodolbski and the durability, and quickly Eldar taking control again. Very heavy on top. Mihal Mihalovic watching closely. And Eldar is doing a really good job on smart ground and pound, not overextending himself, giving Kevin a chance to either run an armbar, triangle, or whatever submission he likes. Comes over the top. This Eldorov. And there we go. That is the end of round number one. An impressive showing by Eldar. So wow, round number one, you see uh, Kodowski showing some life though with the submission attempts. Just really tough to deal with a guy like Eldorov with that wide body, not much of a neck to deal with. Really hard to lock something in. And again, Eldar strives on the ground. He loves to grab you, take you down, and land in a good position. This one he landed in half guard, but overall was able to transition well. Again. Play good ground and pound, smart ground and pound. He didn't overextend himself. He didn't outgas himself. And so far, he won that round pretty easily. A dominating showing by Eldar Eldorov. The party just picking up here at Khalifa Sports City here in Bahrain. Brave fights. Brave Combat Federation kicking off their inaugural event, the Vision the dream of Sheikh Khalid, and he has really put something special together here for the fans of Bahrain. And uh, who knows where we'll go from here. I've seen a press conference very, very recently with Mohammed Shahid, and uh, we could be going to Europe. You just never do know. Yeah, where, where, where was that press conference again? Was it Ireland? I believe it was Dublin, Ireland. So you never know where Brave might end up next. Round number two kicking off here in this welterweight matchup. Are we going to go right back to the ground? And Koldowski doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Oh, he walked into a big right hand. Now Eldorov coming over the top again. Big, nasty competitor here. Kevin showing Eldar. Hey, you're not going to take me down as easy this round. He's trying to show the knees. He's trying to show the push kicks. So it intimidates Eldar, and Eldar has to... You know, pretty much go for something else. And just showing that fake can change a person's game plan. But overall, it looks like they want to stand and bang. Going to work. Are we going to see another one of those flying knees there by Koldobsky? Well, you know, it's, it's good success. Will he take another chance? It's good success because Eldar keeps on dropping his head every time he throws a big right hook. Oh, and he lands that one, and it dazed him. So immediately he was stunned. Right now he's not attacking. Oh, there's another big knee to the body. Now a big clinch, and Eldorov takes a few shots. Koldobsky starting to get a little bit of a rhythm here, starting to get a little momentum. Now Eldor worked really, really hard in keeping Kevin down, and Walks now right he gets him down again. Takedown. Right into the takedown. And now are we going to see much more of the same, that smothering style of Eldar Eldorov? 
What Eldar needs to do is get Kevin to the fence so he can't extend himself and it's harder for him to transition to submissions. So far, Elder's doing really smart ground and pound. Again, not overextending himself and putting pressure on that head that takes Kevin Kodolski's body off center. Elderoff so very effective there, just burying the head into the body, not giving any sort of room. And there you can see the legs starting to sneak up the back as Kevin Koldovsky once again tries to look for a submission from the bottom. Kevin's going to try to transition to that arm bar again. He's using the fence. But so far, again, Elder's playing it smart keeping his head pressed against the fence and keeping Kevin just crumbled together. You know, the fans are getting a little bit restless here, but this is the style of Eldoroff. This is how he grinds. This is how he gets his victories, is he puts a lot of pressure on you and he's very, very heavy on top. And Koldovsky is seeing that firsthand. And it's, it's a tiring style for both. One, you know, Eldar has to do all the work. He has to put the pressure on. And Kevin, obviously, is under there taking the ground and pound, taking that pressure. But when they both stand up, you can tell they looked a little fatigued the first time. But Eldar is playing a dangerous game here, staying in Kevin Kondolski's guard. Doesn't look like he's trying to transition yet. But again, we'll see what happens. Oh, now and really. Kevin's going for Uma Plata right now. Oh, tough, tough spot. He's got that thing wrenched in. Eldoroff with that very, very short neck. It's been hard to get a guy like that that doesn't have a whole lot of neck to work with in the Oma Plata, and he's not able to finish. Good defense by Eldar. He saw it coming. You know, sadly got stuck in it very, you know, for a short period of time, but saw it there and overall was able to get out. But Kevin's showing how slick he is on the bottom. You know, so far he's tried an arm bar, a heel hook, and a umaplata. I'm just excited to see what's next. No, it's very, very interesting, of course. And there he goes once again. Real, real solid. Walking his way up the cage. Very, very slick submission attempts here by Koldobsky. How long can he survive, though, being underneath a guy like Eldorov. That has to be frustrating for Eldar. Beautiful left elbow. And another grinding round by Eldar Eldorov. Now going to be up two rounds, clearly. That means behind the eight ball is going to be Koldovsky. He is going to have to go for it. Close call there on the Omoplata attempt, just not able to cinch it in. And like I said, such a strong, powerful guy is Eldoroth. Not to mention, he doesn't have much of a neck to work with, which kind of neutralizes that attempt. Eldar is so strong, and that's what he's using right now. He's using body weight, he's using his pressure, and in that last submission, he was kind of using a little muscle to get out of it. But so far, Kevin's playing a nice game when it comes to that takedown defense. He's showing Eldar, if you want to take me down, you're going to have to shoot. And that's why Kevin's throwing those flying knees. We'll see if we see more of it here as we start our third and final round. If Koldovsky is going to throw caution to the wind, I believe he's going to. Coming from a camp like that, they know how to strategize, and I think he's going to go after it. And here we go. Crowd excited about this one. Ken Eldoroff dominate once again, get it to the ground. Are we going to see Koldovsky have a successful round number three? This one has been a war of attrition. Both fighters in the same spot. You see him winding up that big right hand. Yo, Kevin knows that he's losing. Two to zero. He's going to have to be forward, but just like the last round, 
When he's forward, Eldar just waits patiently, will pick you up and take you down. So, Kevin needs to throw his jab. Oh, oh. big left. Kevin needs to make this a stand-up fight, throw his jab, use his length, and set up combinations. Big spinning attempt there. And he's trying to change it up. Oh, and he walked right into another big shot. Here we go. We're getting an exchange. So far, Elder got the better of that exchange. Sounded Another like flying knee. Some sort of a screeching animal in the crowd there. <laughs> and moving forward once again is Koldobsky. Very, very aggressive here in round number three, as he should be. It's always frustrating when a guy's down two rounds when he doesn't attack. And uh, Koldobsky is definitely moving forward. Yo, Kevin's ready. He's, he's showing those flying knees. He's showing his knees. And he does... He doesn't want Eldar to shoot, or else one. he's going to run into that knee. Eldar keeps dropping his head, and Kevin sees it. And it looks like we have an unintentional low blow. He's going to try to walk that one off and get a bit of a rest. It doesn't take much, a glancing blow, and then kind of turn you over there. It's not the funnest thing in the world. <laughs> I can imagine not. What a night we've had already, some amazing finishes, and it's only going to get better as we go, as we have our massive co-main and our main event and our feature fight with the boogeyman, Richie Martinez. That one I'm definitely excited for. The fans showing love to Eldar. Big time love for Eldar Eldaroff, and there it goes. That's what he does. I just want to say Eldar does that very well. And I say that from experience. <laughs> he shows you that he's going to go for the dump. You move that way, and a person can only fight in one direction. So instead of going that way, he'll take you the other way and lift you straight up. And you have no choice because you have that mo uh, momentum going that way. Your body automatically lifts off the ground. Great strategy. Great game plan here by Eldar Eldaroff. He knows what he can do and what he does best, and he is employing that for the third round in a row. It just shows his Dagestani roots of you know, hard sambo and hard wrestling. Now in Dagestan, they're known for their Olympic wrestlers all in one practice room, and Eldar's one of them. So Eldar is a fantastic wrestler. He showed his train wrestling there, and he's doing some nice ground and pound here. Really going to work here. Eldar trying to get a finish here, trying to throw the ground and pound, but, I mean, just a real savvy veteran move here by Koldobsky. It's not going to be easy to put away. Once again, and that was actually a pretty solid shot there to the groin, Eldaroff. That was right on the money, Shorty, and I believe it was unintentional, that being said. I mean, that was, nice. I'd love to see the replay on that. I don't know if we can get that up in the truck, but that was, uh, that was right on it. And Koldobsky may have to use every bit of that five minutes and we, you know, we talked about this today, earlier, that we've seen fights end this way. I mean, mm -hmm. you just can't continue. And it looks like he is in some immense pain. He's going to try to walk that off. I mean, this is, this is just part of the game, Shorty. And uh, like you said, you've been down that road before, and it's not anything fun. But it looks like Kevin Koldobsky is going to continue fighting. So let's get back to the fight. Koldobsky. And here we go. Eldar Eldarov facing off once again. And the fight carries on here in the third and final round. Koldobsky is throwing caution to the wind. Everything but the kitchen sink. He wants to get a stoppage. A desperate fighter willing to try anything at this point to slow down. Beautiful knee. And there we go, that power double. 
There it goes. Oh, nice defense by Kevin Kodolski again. Beautiful Third defense. round, they're clinching. There's a lot of sweat. They get very slippery here. Kevin's doing a beautiful job with those elbows. Eldar, you can tell, is in, some, in a little pain, and that's why he decided to block it. And he will not be denied. Eldar Eldaroff, anytime he's gone for the takedown, he has got that takedown. Yeah. Eldar, he likes to say to me, do you want to go on Dagestani Airlines? I'm like, no, no, I don't want to go on Dagestani Airlines. Because <laughs> he definitely gives you some air miles. No, that's one airline I want no part of. I want no miles on that airline. And Eldar Eldaroff seems to have cruised his way to a punishing victory over Kevin Koldobsky, a strategic win. And there we go, much to the happiness of the Bahraini fans who have embraced him as a part of KHK MMA. It appears that Eldaroff has another win. I just want to say I'm a platinum member in the Dagestani Airlines because of Eldar and Khabib. Kevin Koldovsky putting up a great fight, just didn't have enough to deal with a guy like Eldar Eldarov that was so tenacious with the takedowns. He pushed, he pushed, he pushed. And it seemed about 95% of the time he got the takedown that he wanted. Not the prettiest fight, not the most exciting highlight of a fight, but a guy being that punishing and that tenacious is always kind of fun to watch. At the end of the day, a win's a win. And I believe Eldar easily got the win today. No, no doubt about it. Now we'll await the official decision from Carlos Kramer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we announce the results, Let's give it up for these two warriors. What a show they put on. We go to the judges' scorecard, and we have a unanimous decision. Fighting out of the blue corner, Elder the Beast Elderon. Here with Eldar Eldarov. Congratulations on another. I see you want that microphone. Representing KHK MMA, you have to feel very good right now. Assalamu alaikum, Shabab. Shlon al Kitab Zen. Shukran, Shabab, ala kulu daam. I want to say. Thanks for my two main sparring partners. It's Khalil bin Hamad and Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. <laughs> These guys, not only our leaders, they are our team, teammates, good friends, big brothers, cornermen, all together. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Damra. All right, guys, make some noise out there for Eldar Eldarava dominating performance here at Brave.